Around late 1894 and early 1895, at the historic address of 617 North Wabash Avenue, the Schulte Kingsbury House was constructed by Edward M. Schulte. Son of local lumberman Charles Schulte, Edward and his family lived in the house for a short time. Edward would later die on November 20th, 1942. From 1898 through 1904, many tenants lived in the house. In 1905, a well-known Westside businessman purchased the home. Forrest W. Kingsbury, who first worked as a saw filer and later rose to the position of vice president of the Lamasco Bank, lived here until his death in March of 1920. On Monday, the 29th of March, 1920, Forrest went to Lamasco Bank around 9.30 and told a friend that he was feeling sick. As he left the bank, he suddenly collapsed and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead upon arrival. This two-story house was covered with wood siding until a later white aluminum siding was added. Today, the Schulte Kingsbury House stands at 417 North Wabash Avenue. The first floor facade is dominated by a large window with a stained glass round arch. It is very recognizable by its striking dome with a pepper pot base on an octagonal shaft. The house also features an inset porch with round arch entrance and an original front door. Decorative chimneys with limestone bandings can also be seen on the side of the house facing Virginia Street. While some of the architectural features have been covered by the aluminum siding, this house still remains one of the treasures of the Wabash Avenue residential neighborhood.